Hello, grapeys. <laughs> On the Grape Escape, we travel the world in search of wineries off the beaten path to meet unique people and to learn something along the way. My name is Jaco Winnings. I'm your personal winemaker. Grapey, you're in South Africa to see the wildlife. But do you know what pairs well with wildlife? Wine. South Africa has extraordinary wine, grapes, but I grew up here. I also studied oenology and viticulture here, which is the study of wine and the vine. So don't take my word for it. Come visit and see for yourself. Speaking of visiting Cape Town, let's start at the beginning. You want to spend the day at Camps Bay. You at least want to go to the Oranje Zicht Farmer's Market and you have to see the sunset from Table Mountain. But no Cape Town experience is complete without a visit to the Stellenbosch wine region. We stop at Afontier Estate. It's a winery with a winning attitude. We meet the owner, Phil. How did you guys come up with a stuttery? I mean, this is a wine yeah, farm, this is a wine exactly. country. Yeah, I know, it was uh, my father's passion really. He just loved horse racing and uh, found, the <laughs> found some pastures that were prime for both paddocks and the uh, vineyards. So quite lucky with that yeah. and speaking of luck luckily Afontir is only a 40 minute drive from Cape Town so we can get to the wine well what we've done with our wine specifically is we've named our premier range wines which are our best wines okay. after our best race horses this horse is called Saraban so we've named our Sauvignon Blanc Reserve after her she has really kick-started the farm in terms of the progeny that she's produced um, yeah so she's done us really proud from the paddocks, grapes, to the cellar, we meet Jan. Now, he's the winemaker at Afontir, but also, funny enough, the first person to hire me as a wine student. So, yes to you, okay. if you could help. Yes. Usually, we age red wine in barrels, but which white wines can benefit from barrel aging? Chardonnay, Chenin Blanc to a certain degree, yeah. Vionier, and actually Semillon too. Okay. Um, so the point is, however, it depends on the, the outcome, the final style of the wine that you want to achieve. This style of white wine includes flavors like caramel, mocha, coffee and honey. Grapey, come join us at the wine table. The next wine is a blend between Pinot Noir red grapes and Chardonnay white grapes. However, what we do with this wine is we actually take the red grapes at an earlier stage than I would, for instance, for, for the Manelli. In other words, your color development isn't so intense yet. So you are then... So where does the color come from then, Jan? It comes from the, from the skins. Okay. I always say that color is only skin deep, you see. <laughs> in case of red grapes, all the color and flavor is situated in the skin on the outside. So if you actually press the juice, the juice is very lightly colored, almost colorless. So red grapes... Grapes, white juice, for the most part. For the most part. Look at that beautiful color. Is that beautiful? Wow, oh, thank you, Jan. Cheers. And cheers to the tasting room that's open seven days of the week, so we can enjoy that wine blend. Final alcohol in this wine um, isn't that high, because you want the wine to be palatable. It must be a summer wine, something that you can enjoy in the middle of the day. Afontir is all about a stud farm, red and white wine blends and the beautiful backdrop of the Stellenbosch Mountains. Thank you very much for the opportunity yeah. and grapes. We'd love to see you here at Avantiri State. Come and feel and see the horses and taste the wines. And go on that wine tour with Phil. <laughs> grapes! Next up, we head to Ohio for Wine Church. 